the thing, Mark, about the traditional college age population that's just now entering the, the, the point where they're applying to college is that it's disproportionately distributed in the, in the United States and the Southeast and the Southwest and con includes unusually large numbers of first generation low income students. So at the same time that there is a national policy priority on increasing participation in higher education, which is a wonderful thing, we're finding that the students who are enrolling in colleges and universities come from families where they need a lot of help to adjust to college life and overcome some not very good high school preparation in many cases.